Hi, my name is Christian DeLupa here for PC Mac, and today I'm going to be taking a look at the Microsoft Hub keyboard. Now, Microsoft has been releasing a number of interesting apps to Android and iOS of late, and it recently announced a new one that really takes its integration into your phone to a new level. Not only that, but it adds a number of great features that could be really helpful for those plugged into the Microsoft ecosystem. The app is called the Hub Keyboard and it itself basically brings a host of new features to your keyboard. The app is basically aimed at those who feel like they need to often switch between apps to complete common tasks. Installing the Hub Keyboard is extremely easy to do. Users simply have to install the keyboard, then head to their default keyboard options to change the default to the Hub Keyboard. The design of the keyboard is not bad at all. The keys are clearly defined, something that is really helpful considering the fact that users can't swipe type as they can in other Android keyboards. This is a fairly serious omission, however. I have gotten used to swiping words rather than typing them, and typing again will take some adjustment. Above the keys can be found a selection of icons, which are located where other keyboards might offer autocorrect suggestions. As a side note, the default view of the keyboard does not offer any autocorrect suggestions. Instead, users can type on the first icon along the row to hide the hub keyboard icons, where autocorrect suggestions will, will show in their place. It's unfortunate that it's one or the other, but understandable considering that Microsoft doesn't want to take up too much screen space. The second icon along the row basically offers users access to the most recent to the most recent clipboard items. This can be very helpful considering it doesn't just offer access to one single clipboard item, but, more to, but multiple. The second icon requires a login to the user's Microsoft account and allows users to drop in a document from their Office 365 accounts. A great addition, to be sure, but rather limiting in that it only offers users access to Microsoft Office 365. If the keyboard included options for Google Drive and Dropbox, it would catapult the keyboard to the next level. The next icon in line is Contacts, and it basically enables users to quickly and easily send over contact information. However, it is important to note that it does enter all of the contact info into the message. So if you only want to send a phone number, you might have to work more in deleting stuff. Last, but most certainly not least, is the Translate tool. This was honestly the most interesting, impressive, and useful tool for me. It basically enables users to type something in their mother tongue, after which it will automatically be translated into the language that the user pre-selects. The Microsoft Hub keyboard certainly has a long way to go to be perfect. Autocomplete auto could be much more front and center, and the ability to drop files in from other cloud storage services would be extremely useful. For the average person who really only texts and emails without needing to do other stuff, won't need the hub keyboard. The multitaskers among us, however, could find the app extremely useful, especially those working with people in other countries who speak other languages. Thanks for watching. Again, my name is Christian DeLupa here for PC Mac, and we'll see you next time.